Hello everyone, today we are going to talk to you about Futaba T14SG transmitter settings to match H1 flight control. The 7008 receiver is used here. Next I will create a new model to complete the setup process. First double click LNK button. Go to linkage menu and rotate it. Find the model SEL click the middle OK button. Then turn the dial go to the new button. Click OK hold for 1 second RTN. All the options here are the same as mine. Click OK again and then click OK. Now let's set up the aux channel. Then double click LNK button. And then go to the bottom function button. Then we turn to the second page. The 5 channel is the mode switch. And we set it as the SC switch. We pick it and then we find SC and select SC here. We took out the stickers and marked them. And then the 6 channel flight control doesn't read. So we turn it off. Then the 7 channel is the motor start and stop switch. Go in and let's set it to the SF switch. We took out the stickers and marked them. And then we're going to set up 8 channel. 8 channel for semi-autonomous flight mode. So let's set it to SB. We took out the stickers and marked them. Then there's another 9 channel on page 3. 9 channel is invert mode. There is no 2 section switch here. I use this 3 section switch and 2 section switch is SD. We took out the stickers and marked them. So all the switches of the remote control have been allocated. And then I'll show you how to bind. Then go into system and find link button. We're click link button and going to power the receiver. Good light green he's already on the line. We need to set the output of 7008 in S bus mode. There's a press here, there's a button. I need to hold it down. We'll hold the button and give it power. Now release the button. It's red, click it again. Then the red light double flashing is set. Then long press to save it. That screen it's saved. Next let's see how to connect the wires. I'm going to put this yellow signal lineup into 8SB. The other end is inserted into the flight control RCIN port. Yellow line down. So the whole wire is connected to a state like this. 
Next we connect the flight controller to a computer for other setting. Next we well select the COM port and click connection. So once we've connected, let's check if the direction of the stick is correct. We find that the rise and the fall are reversed. We double click LNK. Find the reverse button enter RTN. Select 3 channel rev. Set it up successfully. Let's look at it again. Up and down OK. Let's see if the 5 channel is normal. Return GPS 3D. This is also reverse. We put the 5 channel is also a reverse. So select 5 channel rev. Return GPS 3D. The other switches are set in the same way in this one. Now let's click Joystick Stroke Calibration and turn two sticks. When finished all sticks in the middle, click OK button. Then a dialog box will pop up. And we can see that the Max and the Mini are almost the same. So it's done. Click OK button. Now let's see if S works or not. Turn off the transmitter. The software tips are X no signal. So the FS is right. Next you can put install the flight control on the helicopter and set other adjust.